what's up, what's up? It's that big boy, B Style, Living Lauren, taking charge. Yeah. The good, the bad of 2019. Y'all, when I tell you this year has whooped my <laughs> but I've had some good though, so I'm not gonna complain that much. I'm gonna give you a little some good quick story day. of the good. I had some bad days, but I. So, okay, I'm going to start with the goods first. It's not that many goods that happened, though, but I'm still okay. I still made it out. Well, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so, good things that happened to me. I turned 25. I'm an OG now. <laughs> OG 25, OG, OG 25. So, anywho. So, y'all, I got <laughs> duck on my birthday. Blackout drunk on my birthday. I had run in a hotel. I can't remember nothing. So, I ain't much to tell you. Only thing I can do is show you this video right here of me fighting on the tape of Invisible Person. I don't know who the hell I was fighting in my uh, head. I don't know what was going on. But I don't remember none of that. And my cousins, they sitting there recording me. They trifling, but I love them death though. But, hun, I'm glad they did because I wouldn't remember shit. Like, I wouldn't have remembered nothing. Nathan. So, hun, that's one good thing. I turned 25. That's one. One, 25. One more time. So, number two is, what else happened to me good in 2015? Damn. I said 2015. Mm, my mind gone. Gone, gone. So, okay, what else happened to me? Good, 2019. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to write this down yesterday, but I got so busy with Christmas stuff. It slipped my mind. Oh, we found out my cousin was pregnant and she's having a baby in March. Like, well, actually, all of my cousins are pregnant this year. We... Well, not all of them, but I have three that's really close to me. So, there's my cousin slash god sister. She's pregnant with a little boy. She's doing March. And there's my cousin. Well, her name is Daria. And my second cousin that's pregnant, her name is uh, Tiara. She's doing March. And for the last one. She do at any time, Shakari. Lord Jesus, I tell you, it's too many people in my family pregnant. I, I love, I'm be rushing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Bye, baby. When I tell y'all, my bank account is going to be disrespected. Who child? Child, it's going to be disrespected. Well, I'm just happy I got some new cousins and nieces and coming along, you know. My uh, God child, well, on um, Tierra's child, that's my God child, so my bank account most definitely gonna be broke as hell. So, okay, that's two. What else happened to me in 2019 that was good? Mm. Oh. A good thing, well, another good thing, three, then it became a bad thing, so yeah. So I met this dude. We started talking for a while, then I don't know what the hell happened, and we just uh, fell out and stopped talking. So that was for, I was that's gonna be a half. That's half good, half bad. So yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that's for I think you know for uh, birthday twin. I mean, 
twins, the pregnant people, <laughs> pregnant people, pregnant cousins. Okay, so I said something else. So that's three. The uh, the dude I met. Y'all, did I even try to piss some chapstick on my lips? Because my lips is dry as... Oh, and y'all, I wrote some good songs this year. When I tell you I wrote some good songs, that's folks. I wrote some good... I tell you them songs make me want to shake something. <clears throat> that's coming soon, honey, because I just... Um, right now, I got two recorded. I just got to get the rest recorded so I can get my album completed. And when I tell y'all... The music thing, it is like when I tell you that, shit, especially when you're an independent artist and you're everything is coming out your pocket. That shit is just it's disrespectful. Then you ain't got no help. So what? What? And I don't want to sound like this, and I don't want to feel like this. Just like I was hitting my money in. Don't come ask me for no money when I actually start making money, money. What was your money when I needed? Because I ain't giving mine that. I'm good. Because <laughs> as soon as you get famous and start making money, that's when people start showing up at the day. I'm such and such. Oh, we family. Where were you when I needed you? Where were you? When I was trying to get the money to get this stuff recorded. Where were you when I was getting the money to put these songs on the internet, like the internet and the Apple Music and all that? Where were you when I was performing on each stage every night? Where were you when my bank account said zero, zero, zero? Yeah, when I count saying a thousand something and over, oh, now you want to show up. No, I had the same energy that you had when I was broke. Anywho, cause makes me sick, man. I can't stand stuff like that. Like, don't try to pop up. Like, no, go on by your and stay in where you was before in a little bubble that you was in before. Don't don't come over here with that bullshit. Anyway, so number five. I think that was, yeah, that was number four. So number five. Number five is I got my songs recorded this year, so that was a good thing. For this year, 2019, turn up. My two songs, my uh, song "Fate Love," will be released January. Yeah, January first of next year. So this video is probably gonna be and uploaded probably like tomorrow. Lie. Today is yeah. I know I'm always late on everything. Yeah, today but is it's Thursday. okay though. It's still so today is Thursday, so this video is gonna be uploaded Friday. So and I got a few more days. <laughs> Few more days, and uh, I'm trying to start this big boy thick styles collection. That's gonna be. I'm gonna try to get that out next year too. I'm like y'all. When I tell you, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff I'm doing next year, but I'm not gonna stop. Cause as soon as I stop, I'm gonna get unfocused, and I ain't gonna wanna do it no more. I ain't gonna wanna work on nothing no more. I'm gonna, it's gonna be sitting right there. And this this year I'm gonna try to stay focused, y'all. Next year I'm gonna try to stay focused. Though. I promise y'all I'm gonna try to stay focused. Cause like my YouTube channel would have been way off than what it is now if I would have stayed focused and not started going out and having all that other blah 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 blah. blah. Cause when I I set my mind on something, then I get to scratch and, and next thing you know I'm doing something else. But I'm gonna keep my mind on the things that's more important, and that's what I'm gonna keep it at. Cause I ain't got time at all. So that was number five. I got my music recorded. Yeah, we have another song coming out January twenty eighth. I think yeah, January twenty eighth. So the first song come out the uh, first of I'm about to say May. The first of June. Damn. The first of July. The first of January. Yes, at 12 o'clock a.m. 
So if y'all support me and love me, please download that song as soon as it drop on New Year's Day. <laughs> I just wanna check, 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 check. I just wanna check, 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 check. I ain't for that thing love, thing love. Would you leave it one of my, one of my? And if I say I'm bad, y'all, I'm going through a little something, something. And I'm supposed to be on vocal rest, which is hard to do. So my uh doctor, she gonna slap me. Because I was like, she put me on vocal rest. The end of November, I think. Yeah, th that was the end of November. <sighs> That's hard to do. But I'm about to go on vocal rest starting tomorrow again. <clears throat> I'm going to drink tea and tea. And tea and tea. And that's it. So, now we're on the path. Yo. 2019 whooped my. So I seen this post. That said, the tears you shed in 2019 is going to water the plants, the flowers, in, two, in 2020. Baby, when I tell you, the flowers going to be well off. Because, baby, when I tell you, I done shed so many tears this year. Whoo! Child. I can fill up a river. I can fill up an ocean. That's how many tears I done shed. Because, baby, when I tell you. 2019, I whooped my ass. Like, it whooped my ass. Like, y'all, y'all do not understand how it whooped my ass. So, first, the bad. It ain't that many bads, but it's bad. So, the first one is... So, the first one is... Y'all... I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to be great. So I goes to the Zaxby's late at night. <clears throat> Get me a little salad. Yeah, I got home. Open myself, got it all nice and shit. Moving that shit around, cooking it up. I'm not cooking it up because it's already cooked. It's already fixed. Well, the salad's not cooked, but the chicken's, you know what I mean. Anyway, so... Fix the shit up, got the dressing and everything on that Caesar dressing on Caesar that cob salad. So Yeah. Tell me why. I see a fucking hair in my food. Not a little teeny piece of hair. That hair was that fucking long. And it was the motherfucker that was at the what you call at the with the uh hell on the food at the front at Zaxby's. I say, Oh my god, oh no. She told me so I called I say, excuse me. But I was eating my son and it was a hair in it. She said, A hair. You sure you got that from him? I, it took everything in me not to call this lady a bitch. If I'm calling you, clearly I got the salad from y'all. If I'm telling you there's a hair in the salad and it looks like yours. Because then the girl that was at the uh, window, she had a nasty ass attitude. She talking shit to the uh, other, her other uh, co-worker. And they're, good, they're some good ones because I would have cussed her ass out real quick. But anywho, so she was like, well, what you can do, you can either uh, bring it back and get another. I said, no, I just want my money. That's it. She said, well, okay, well, you can come in tomorrow because right now we're closed. I said, okay, I'll be there tomorrow and get my money. So I came in the next day. This lady helped me. She was this older lady. She was like, oh, no, we don't do shit like that. We don't do nothing like that. They need to get this together. So she was like that, cause I was telling her how that other girl had a nasty attitude and talking junk to each other, talking junk to the co her coworkers. And she was like, "Oh no, oh no, we don't, we don't take part in that. We gonna get her." I say, "Okay." So she was like, "Then the manager came. He was like, oh my god, that's so unprofessional." So he gave me a, a a little card. 
So I can get anything I want on the menu for free. And they uh, refunded me my money back. I wanted to go and uh, snatch that uh, wig off that lady's head that hell was in my salad because that made me mad. Yeah. So yeah, that, 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 that pissed me off. That was number one. Well, no, that was number five. I don't know why I st didn't start counting back. What else that happened to me this year? Oh, another bad thing. I got blackout drunk on my birthday. And I didn't told y'all that one in the beginning. <clears throat> and people said, well, people, my cousins them said, because that was at the party. That was like, I hit one of my ex-best friends in the head with a Bluetooth speaker. I don't remember that. And we don't, me and her, we don't talk to, we don't talk. No more, cause she got a bad attitude, and anybody got time for that. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna talk about her no more. So she in the past, so she gonna stay in 2019. Anywho, so what else I was saying? That was that's four. Yeah, cause like when I took oh, so my coworker she was telling us to go to Funky Pr Frankie's Frankie's Prime for Fun Park. I'm sorry, Frankie's Fun Park. She was telling us to go there. It would be fun. I'm like, okay. I've never been. I do not know what the place is about. Nothing. So we get in there. We just happen to see. We've seen a lot of kids running back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, I'm looking. We look all looking at each other like, I'm not right. I said, you too many damn kids in here. What the hell is going on? <clears throat> she said. This is a place for kids and stuff. Like, it's some adults that be playing. I say, I, no. I, I think it's for adults too, but I'm, I I don't have time to be around all them kids. Like, no. Like, I've been putting somebody's kid for running, them out, running in front of me and shit. They didn't know. I had to get the fuck on through because I ain't got time. And, like, when I tell you that shit was so packed. And like with my anxiety, I can't take shit like that. I can't. I can't be in no big crowds. I start feeling like I can't breathe. My doctor said I have social anxiety, which is gonna mess me up in the long run. But at the end of the day, I don't care because my circle's small either way it go, and we don't really go out to clubs and shit like that. So we're good. That's why I say pick you some friends that don't want to be in the club every weekend shaking their ass. So, and think of ways they can get famous and rich. So, yeah, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, that was number four. Yeah. So, number three had to be. What was the other one? Oh, number three. It's when me and that dude stopped talking. I guess. I'm trying to think. What, what made him mad? I said something. Yeah, I know. I guess that's why I'm single today because I'm an asshole. When you piss me off, it's going to take a lot to uh, make it up to me. I guess he got tired of trying to make it up to me. So he said, fuck it. I said, fuck it too. Bye. Now you got time. I'm gonna make your ass suffer. Don't play with me. I'm crazy. Crazy as hell. Period. Poo. Ew. That's number four. Or number three. Yeah, number three. I think. Y'all, if I got these numbers messed up, I'm so sorry. Because my mind is going blank every five seconds. So, number two. I'm just gonna say number two. I'm sorry. So, number two. Had to be. When I fail, trying to open a freezer door in the meat department, trying to help my coworkers. So, I was helping them. So, I'm sitting here, I come in, I'm coming in, I came in, or whatever. I'm going back there to get containers for the food and stuff out there. So, my coworkers, two female coworkers, they was like, uh, can you come help us open this door? I said, sure, I guess. Because the door has been fucking broke for at least two or three months 
Yeah, nobody fixed it. So I'm like, uh, I said, so when they gonna fix this dough? She, they was like, I have no idea. We've been waiting. I say, hun, that's, I'm glad I don't work over here. I was like, I'm glad I don't work over here. They was like, I wish I could say something. I said, uh huh. <clears throat> so I went to open the freezer door. Mind y'all, the shit is broke. And it's hard to open the shit. And it's been easy to open it when you pull it back. So, I pulled the shit. I guess I pulled with too much power. I pulled. The damn handle fucking broke. I went flying back and hit my damn back in the middle. And, um, cut my damn, um, ankle on the door. And, uh, hit my back. It was all bad. Hit my damn knee. When I tell you, it was all bad. I'm sitting on the floor. I'm ashy as hell. I had to pull my pants leg up, show them that I got cut. When I tell you, I was ashy. Y'all. Ashy. I was Michael Jackson. Same color as Michael Jackson. Baby! When I tell you, them legs was ashy. I got, jumped out the shower. Hell, I was already rushing as it is. I jumped in that car. Shoo! Went to work. So... <clears throat> I went up there, I had to refile a report, honey, for my, me falling. When I tell you, it took my manager three years. I'm exaggerating, but three years to find a nurse that comes and assists people when they hurt. Three years to find a nurse on the computer. And the other man, she was like, uh, you ain't found it yet. She was like, no, I, I couldn't find it. And they looking at each other, I'm looking at them, they looking at me, and I'm looking at them, and they looking at me, and they're like, am I supposed to stay up here all day? Because I ain't got a problem with that. I'm hurt, but I can stay up here. Uh, play with me. Anyway, so, then, my manager, Jazz, that I, with, that's my, that's my homie. <laughs> so, <coughs> On the cut, she didn't tell me that that little stuff that she was cleaning with was going to burn. So I'm sitting here thinking it's going to be like a little cool sensation. She put that shit on me. I said, ow! I said, y'all, when I tell you, I was like a little bitch at this. I said, bitch, you didn't tell me that was going to hurt. She said, I was a nurse. Uh, she said, I was uh, in school to be a nurse. Why would I tell you? They tell you in school uh, to lie, lie. I said, well, bitch, just know the trust we had is gone. <clears throat> she said, oh. I said, she said, don't do that. I said, well, my leg is burning and that really hurt me, so the trust we had is gone. She said, she said, you, you, you need to get together. I said, I'm trying. So, honey, <clears throat> then another thing she told, didn't tell me because I ain't had one since I was younger. So, when I was younger, well, no, sh the next, that Sunday, I had to go and get a sh uh, tetanus shot. So, I went in there. Yeah, my back was hurting. They didn't check shit, but just give me a tetanus shot. They told them, give me, just give me a tetanus shot. They better be glad I was okay in the next few days. If I wasn't okay in the next few days, somebody was going to have to pay. But anyway, I took me a few, uh, they, uh, muscle and acid, that was it. And I was good to go. So, <clears throat> I went and got that shot. That shit, it didn't hurt at first. But after a while, I started trying to move my arm and shit. Damn, back was hurting, arm was hurt. I want to tell y'all, it was all bad. Every time I touch my arm, that shit, uh -huh. Them damn tetanus shots is disrespectful. Please don't get cut or hurt or nothing so you have to get one because that shit is disrespectful for a few days. I said, God damn. Right. I'm trying to see, do I still feel it? But that was number two. Y'all, yeah. number one is I just want to say that is the Pretty much the worst I done ever had in that store of all times. The worst I done ever had in all time. All fucking year. All the years that I done been there.
So we got a new forklift in or whatever. And it's been there for some months. I drive it every now and again because I don't like driving it because the front of it is too high. So when you raise it up in the air, it's pretty much hitting shit. So my manager comes to me, or my GM comes to me, asking me, asking me to uh wrap the stuff in the steel that's in the freezer because corporate is coming. So I'm like, okay, um, that's cool. I, I ain't got a problem with that. But I'm I'm not wrapping other people's stuff. I'm wrapping my stuff. That's about it. He was like, oh, uh, well, just tell them to come wrap their stuff. If they don't, come get come get with me. That's not my job to tell them. I'm not a team lead. I am a regular associate. So I'm not about to tell them nothing. So I go by my business, wrapping my stuff, pinning it up in the steel. Y'all. And he's sitting here rushing me to get the stuff done, rushing me. Sir, <clears throat> you rush when you rush people, that's when stuff happens. So he's sitting here rushing me to get the shit done. Like, you are like, this is, these are only two pallets that I have to get done. Two pallets. Two. Remind you, the steel is fucking full of my stuff. So... I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to stress. I'm not going to get aggravated. I'm just get this shit done and get the fuck up out of here. So, y'all, I didn't know the fort was, was high up in the air on the wall. Because I'm sitting here rushing my mind. Goddamn, get these shit done so you can get the fuck out of here. So, I went too far up. I hit the fucking fire sprinklers. Whatever the hell shit called. Why the fuck would you have fire sprinklers in a fucking freezer? Why? Why? So, I hit that shit. And next thing you know. Y'all, when I tell you, everything came, like, water came down on me, hit me, hit the fort little. Hit everything. The damn whole freezer filled up with water. The damn water was running out into the uh into the bake not into baker to the uh sales floor. The water was to the water was so damn like so far it was all the way up here, all the way up there. Like it looked like a fucking pool back there. They had to get up. Everybody had to get new shoes. That's how bad it was. I had a nervous damn breakdown. I'm like, should I quit? Oh, shit, I'm about to get fired. Should I quit? Oh, shit, I'm about to get fired. The next thing you know, I just had a fucking breakdown. Because I had had it. Because all the shit that had been happening. And shit I'm dealing with at home. Shit I'm dealing with here. Like, and that was that was pretty much the, the ice on the cake. The damn cherry on top of the ice cream. Like, I'm telling you, that was the damn feather that broke the camel's back. So... I'm like, this is too much. Like when I tell you, and what you call, they had to keep, they had to calm me down because I have anxiety. So I, and I would have had another fucking panic attack. So and it was going towards that because I could feel, I could feel like I couldn't breathe. It was all bad. Like when I tell you, it was all fucking bad. It was all bad. My nerves were shot. Then after, after all that happened. My manager came to me, he was like, don't uh, stress over it. He said, accidents happen, and uh, next time, just be careful. And uh, I was trying to get him my uh, forklift license back. I was trying to get him that damn license back. He would not take that license at all, and I still have that license to today, unfortunately. Anyway, so, what was I saying? Oh, so, yeah, they had to get everybody new shoes. Because everybody's shoes are soaked. And I just want to say thank y'all for helping me clean that water up. Because that was a mess. And the next few days, I went in the freezer. I took it upon myself since I did it. I went and got the ice up off the floor, like, in the freezer. That shit had froze the fuck over, y'all. It was bad. Then my other two co-workers, at the last few days that I was doing it, they came in to help me put salt down and melt that shit down. They the real MVPs. Thank y'all. Uh, so, yeah, y'all. 2019, there was some good. There was some tears. There was some joyful tears. There was some uh, sadness, depression. But I pray to God. I really pray to God. Like, and I 
pit that on everything. I hope next year is so much better for me and everybody, my family, my friends. Because this year, yeah, I really have no words because I've never had a year like this. It's never been this bad. I don't know what it was. I guess it, then I'll take I'll take it like that. <clears throat> it was pretty much giving me a sign that it's time for me to get my shit together and start uh start getting my stuff on in uh in line, get my stuff together. Cause like a month after that happened, I went to the studio and got those songs recorded. So it's pretty much a path for me to get time to get my shit together. That's what it is. So I just want to say thank y'all for watching. Oh, sorry. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all. And y'all go uh, subscribe to my cousins, Tori, uh, YouTube, Tori TV. And it'll be typed in right there. So y'all, I just want to say thank y'all. And my photo shoots, where well, our photo shoots, because it's going to be, I'm going to have a photo shoot by myself. Coming soon. Then we're going to have another photo shoot. It's going to be me, my cousin, Tori, Brooke, and Tierra. So... All I got that coming, and sometime in the summer, <clears throat> sometime in the summer, I'm gonna be working on a music video for Fake Love. Cause right now, the way my money's set up, it ain't happening, Captain. Unless it's uh, I get some money from somewhere, baby. The summertime is when it's coming out, but, but um, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my cousin Tori TV. That's T-O-R-I TV. So, and what else, what else, what else, what else, what else?